Fatality. Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial for the Alien. Um, now we're going to be looking at the Tarkatan variation, judging from the intro, I'm guessing you saw that. Uh, now, I feel that this can be used offensively and defensively and you'll see why during the course of this video. So I feel that that's the best one to cover. Acidic, from what I've played from the other two variations, they seem quite similar in terms of how you play as them. They're all setups, that kind of thing. Um, I do consider them to be more of a defensive player uh, playstyle, but um, you know it's early days yet, so I may be proved wrong at some point in the near future. So we're going to go ahead with the Tarkatan variation, and of course we're going to go with the Predator as the opponent and on the training mm. stage as well. Now, let's watch these two rip each other up. And so we've arrived headfirst into the basic fundamentals movements. So let's start with walking forwards and backwards. As you can see, it's not that impressive walking forwards. It's the same case when you're walking backwards as well, but that's okay. The alien more than makes up for this with his forward and back dashes, which I'll get to now. I'm just going to show you what his jump is like just for argument's sake. This is basic fundamentals. But as you can see, his forward dash right there is pretty damn quick. His back dash is just as great, just doesn't cover as much distance, but that's okay. The forward dash, you may be able to catch someone unaware with a throw, so keep this one in mind. Very, very cool Schneiders, and we're only at the beginning. Aliens are looking pretty darn good. Now let's look at his run. Uh, if you saw that coming at you in the middle of the night, you would absolutely cack yourself, wouldn't you? I know I would. His 1, 2, 3, and 4 attacks. Now, for being circle on the PlayStation and B on the Xbox One, I'm just going to use the PlayStation terminology to so circle. I'm going to go back to this move because, as you can see, it's got some great range and it's an extremely great normal to have for Alien in this character. So we're going to come back to that one. Now this is his maximum sweep range. Not too bad. Now we're going to look at some combos of notes. These are the ones you really want to pay extra attention to. As you see, I've listed them at the top left there. We're going to go through them from top to bottom. Now the first one is a very basic one, square triangle X. Does some decent damage. And this one is actually minus five on block. So it's relatively safe against most of the cast. Now I'm going to be whiffing a lot of these combos, in fact I'm going to be whiffing all of them just to show you that if you do end up whiffing in an actual match, you still may be able to catch these guys with your tail on a lot of these combos. Now back square square and X will hit low on the third and fourth hit. And just to show you the whiff. Can even catch that a little bit further back. Probably even further than that, so another great range move, rather a range combo. Back square square up in circle is one you'll use a lot. This is a great launcher move. Great for extending your combos. And to show you the whiff, you can still catch them with your tail. Forward square, X, then circle is another great combo. It'll hit low on the third hit, and it'll push your opponent away from you. And you can combo after that with a special. This is a great combo. This is probably the best combo in terms of its length if you do whiff. So if you're further back than that, you'll be able to hit them with your tail. It extends pretty damn far. Now triangle square circle hits low. And this is another one you'll be using quite a lot. And finally we have back X then circle. This hits low twice.
Now you can combo into it from a jumping punch, but to be fair, what you really want to do is be as far away as you can. This is a great move to have out of range. The alien has some great special moves in its arsenal, and I've got to give a special shout out to Netherrealm for fitting him in perfectly with Mortal Kombat X. Now we're going to look at the first one, which is Tail Flip. This is back, forward, and circle. As you can see, it operates as an overhead, and if you EX this move, you'll pop your opponent up and you'll grant yourself a combo extender. You can do this move in the air, and you can also EX from the air as well. Zeno Strike is down forward X. Pretty much a Catwoman move. Now, this covers some decent uh, distance as well, round about here. That's your max distance. Now, if you EX this special move, you'll do a little bit more damage and you'll thrust your opponent away from you or into the corner. Tail Snag is down back X. This is an important move and you must utilize this a lot in your uh, in your online matches or local matches. This is such a useful move to have. Um, covers some great distance and if you EX this version, as you're about to see, you're gonna do a bit more damage and you'll throw your opponent away from you, grant you some breathing space. Now we have Crawl. This is back forward square. This is especially useful for getting out of the corner or perhaps just fucking with your opponent's head. Now the EX version will allow you to stand right in front of your opponent and you'll grant yourself a combo extender. So let's take a look. Let's do a three hit combo from this move. So you've got four hits, so make use of this one. Very, very useful one to have. Now the variation specials are especially great for the Tarkatan variation. This is back, forward, and triangle. That's our cat and rush. Now, if you want to extend it, you press square afterwards. And as you can see, it does some great damage as well. And then you can go further on from that as well. You can go into circle, which acts as a low. Or press triangle again after square, which will act as an overhead. Or alternatively, you can go into a throw. It's a really great combo ender. And you can extend this as well by pressing right trigger. You can also EX these moves. I wouldn't advise so because they grant you an extra 2% of damage and I don't feel that that's worth it for your bar. But I believe it's armor. Uh, armor. Um, it can, you know, it's a great for a wake up is what I'm trying to say. Now next we have something very special and you'll recognize it from a certain character obviously being Tarkatan this is the chop chop this is down back and square and the EX version does more damage and throws your opponent away and lastly we have the blade spin this is down back and triangle and the EX version grants you a combo extension so pretty darn cool Schneiders for the alien now let's look at his X-Ray move. So 32% damage overall, pretty much standard with the rest of the cast I'd say, but let me show you a couple of X-Ray combo examples for you to try it yourselves and extend upon. So if you could do better, please let me know in the comments below and let me hear your progress. Now I'm going to show you one specific for the corner. This utilizes a slightly different combo near the end for more damage. Nothing too hard there, but again, if you come up with something better, please let me know. 
So let's take a look at some other moves of note for the alien now. We're going to start with square square triangle. This is the first basic combo you'll come across in the move section. But this is actually minus three on block, so it's pretty damn safe. This is forward triangle X, circle X, circle. I've yet to utilize this in an effective way. It looks cool. If you can get it, that's great, but if you find another use for it, let me know. Now, X, 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 this one right here, is quite deceiving in the fact that it looks like it ends with an overhead, but it's actually not, as you can see. It's nowhere near an overhead, but it's got some decent damage to it. So forward X and circle is a nice one to mix your opponents up with if you utilize it alongside back X and circle. Back and triangle is an awesome overhead. This covers some amazing range actually. Let's take a look round about there. And what's great about it, if you're a bit closer to your opponent, you can actually go into a special off of this. Now up and X is a very quick anti-air move. If we set the opponent to jump, see how quick it is. It's 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 fairly quick to be fair. Um, a really good move to have. And if you're lucky enough, you can do the same thing, and you can combo off of it with a special move as well. Okay, now we're coming full circle to, well, circle, because we're going to go back to this lovely ranged move right here. Um, now, the general rule of thumb for this move is you can combo into your specials, for the majority anyway, with this move at full distance. So this is the flip kick. You'll be able to combo from max distance if you press circle first, going into that move. And now the Zeno strike. The tail snag. And now the crawl. So it's very, very, very cunning, the stuff that they've put for Alien, and I really, really enjoy um, what they've done here. Now if we try his variation specifics, this is back, forward, and triangle, so that hits, that's no problem. But now we're going to try Chop Chop. This isn't going to work. And I think we're all wise to this. It's just not going to be able to reach enough. And if we try, finally, the Blade Spin, again, you're not really going to get it. If you're a little bit closer, you will be able to hit it. Um, but at max range, it's an absolute no-no. Now let me show you something very special for the Alien. This is a Jumping Forward Circle. Fuck! That's max range pretty much. Not quite max range, but as you can see, you need to be a little bit more closer, about half screen away, I'd say. Um, yeah, use this one a lot, okay? And it's also great for evading your opponents as well, so if they're chasing you from a jump or a jump marathon like that, then it's an, uh, another uh, effective tool. And if you're close enough, you can actually combo into your flip kick. So now we're going to be looking at the jumping forward X. Now this hits twice, but we're going to be looking at this specifically with the tail snag, which is down back in X. Now this is character dependent, but depending on how tall your character is with its hitbox, everything like that, you'll be able to do a cross up from this move. So you can see it missed there. If we try it again, it'll miss there. But for the predator, if it's just before you hit the ground, you will hit them. So this will allow you to combo even further after that kick connects. So if you go into a combo uh, into the tail snag, you'll have something like this. Try it yourself. It's a nice little tool there. It's quite a, it, I feel, it feels a quite a hidden tool, so I'd say utilize it. Here's a combo string for you guys to try out. Nothing too hard. Doesn't require any run cancels or anything like that. So 
So I have 36% damage with one bar of meter. And again, you don't require anything too drastic like a, a run cancel or anything like that. Fairly easy. Now for the step-by-step -step guide, we're going to be utilizing the top left list there. But the triangle square circle, the first portion of this uh, long list of combos, will have to be repeated uh, after back, square, square, up and circle. But we'll get to that. So the first part is triangle, square, circle. It's a back, forward, square and right trigger to enhance the move. Now once you've done that, you want to press back and square, square, up and circle. This will extend your combo even further. And now it's after this move that you press triangle, square and circle the combo at the very top. And as you can see, the fourth hit will miss, but that's exactly what's supposed to happen. That's absolutely fine. You want to be concerned about the third hit of this combo. Now after you hit them with the third hit, you want to press back four triangle into square and then throw. Beautiful. Try it again. Congratulations! Now try out this brutality which utilizes the chop chop that's down back and square. It's the same combo as before but you'll have to run cancel after back, square, square, up and circle, unless you're up against a corner or something like that. But give it a try and let me know how you think. Guys, I hope this has proved informative. I hope you've learned something from this. If you haven't, well, go fuck yourselves. Um, I really appreciate it if you did like this though, because I'm all about helping you guys. And if I have helped you in any way, then I would appreciate a like, share it with your friends, family and loved ones <laughs> and also give me a subscribe as well if you see any value to me. Guys, I'm going to leave it there and uh, I'll see you for the next one.